Hey everybody, welcome back to Squirrel Stampede Gaming. We are back at Bee Swarm Simulator over at Roblox. I think we even mentioned it last time. Hey, I wonder what's going on over there with the bees. I'm right now in Cloverfield catching up with some clovery things. And we've got a few interesting surprises today. Let's see, there's Lazy Kitty 10K. She's just starting uh, her journey of bee swarming. So she just has a couple cute little basic bees following her about. And somewhere in here too, Ben Ultra 21 is also learning the curve of flower harvest and pollination. So what do I have going here? You can tell I've got this huge backpack now. I've really upgraded. I've got this giant gravy spoon that I'm working on or a bee, uh, bee comb spoon wand. And I've got quite the many bees around me, although I've yet to really get much farther from this point. I'm a little bit stuck in the game. Uh, here's my bee swarm over here at Landry Squirrel. Uh, I've got mostly sixes and a few sevens, uh, and I have yet been able to get past seven, and I've yet to able to get past uh, getting some of these to glow. I know you can get these to glow somehow. I've seen people do that, and I haven't figured that out yet. So I guess we've got to work on that. Uh, what's going on? We've almost been doing this gaming thing here for about a year now. Isn't that crazy? It's September. I think we started last year around late August, September. So wow on us. And I think we have 6,000 plus squirrel libers over here now. So thank you everyone for squirrel libing. Joining in on the fun. If you have not given a squirrel lib yet, please do so. And join in the antics of what we're doing. So there's my hive. There goes Ben Ultra. He's working. It looks like he's headed towards the shop, maybe to get something else. Uh, as Ben Ultra just has a couple cute little bees. I think he said he had a fire bee and a basic bee. And I think Slushy Puppy here, or uh, Lazy Kitty, it still says Slushy Puppy. That's funny. It's usually Lazy Kitty. Uh, she's got uh, a couple three basic bees. So, what do I have to do today? Let's check out my list from the bears. Uh, my quests, I should call them. Uh, what is a quest that I can actually accomplish today? Um, I think the low, the easiest, the closest one, I should say, not the easiest, although it might be actually pretty hard, is feed 500 treats to your bees. And treats don't just grow on trees, do they? I might be able to buy a few treats. Uh, usually this front um, uh, what is this? The dandelion? The dandelion garden? Usually you can find some treats in here the most efficiently, uh, though right now I'm not seeing any. I might be able to buy some treats over at the treat factory. I know they got a little more expensive because every time you buy a treat, the price goes up, if I recall. Open shop. Uh, 3600 honey. Well, that's not too bad. I actually am going to... Uh, buy enough treats here to finally finish this um, plan here. 20 treats, and I need how many treats to finish? Uh, 66, 500, so that's 66, 76, 86. I need 14 more treats. I need to buy 14. Um, not sure how many I have here. That's probably plenty. Okay, so where are we at? I've got 42 treats now and 66. Just buy a couple more here just so I have a few extra and we can pay off our debts and get that mission done, the seven to seven mission. I have been working on that bear mission for a long time. I don't even remember which bear told me to do that, but that's what I'm going to start with today. So let's head over here and feed one of these six bees. Maybe this guy up here, this weird one with the eyes well, oops, we will give him a bunch of treats. All 50, yeah. Okay, so I think we finally finished that quest. I don't know which bear to go to though, seven to seven, hmm. Well, we'll find that bear in a little bit. Uh, Mantis Massacre, okay, Massacre, I said that really funny, Massacre. Let's go find three mantises and have some mantis battles. That would be fun. So we're gonna head over here. There's three locations, three gardens I know of that have mantises. One is over on this side of the five. We'll run past this field. We got a couple beetles to work on right now. Come on, bees, get these beetles. Knock these beetles out. 
Beetles aren't so bad nowadays. Beetles and ladybugs, pretty easy kill. Let's gather up the supplies. I still have yet to figure out how to get this royal jelly. I either have to drop down and swing in from this ramp would be one way of doing it, I think. Um, let's see. It's like right in here, so if I dropped and then pulled in, but I can never really jump in. Oh, probably because I didn't jump at the right time. It's more so at the edge of the ramp. We'll try it one more time, and if I don't get it, we'll just continue on with the day, the daily's chores. Okay, so I think it's more like here, so go this way. No, didn't work. So yeah, that's a hard one. I haven't figured that out yet. Maybe doing some jumping up on those bamboo things right there might get that royal jelly, but I, I don't know. So our first mantis attack will be over here. What do we have for the mantis? Ah! Mantis level four! Ah, and there's a beetle too! Oh, the mantis jumps! The mantis jumps this way! I can jump too! Alright, full attack bees. Oh, I got a royal jelly out of that too. A little surprise. So, pretty good. Now we just need to collect five more mantis bodies. So, let's head over to the other location of Manti and get some mantises. Oh, I've woken up the werewolf, the worst boss. This guy usually takes some time to take. Oh, and we've got him pretty well covered, actually. My upgraded bees are doing so much better now that many of them are at seven. Ooh, and another royal jelly was given, so pretty cool. Okay, over here at the pine tree patch, we should have a double mantis attack. Double mantis, do something, bees, do something. They're like, we're tired, Dan, we don't want to do this anymore. No, you must, you must take out these mantis eyes. Mantising, mantisers, lots of mantises. Mantisuses. I don't know what the plural is for mantis, but they are tricky little guys. And we got him, all right, so there we go. Now I just need three more mantis. And if I wanted to, this is a, a good um, place to hang out because I'm collecting a lot of the blue pollen I noticed over here on the side. I need to collect blue pollen and also pollen from the pineapple patch. So kind of hang out here for a second and let's collect all this blue pollen. Okay, we've collected all the blue pollen from this patch so we can move on a little bit more. I see that I have a 30 ladybug score too that I need to work on. And more from the pollen of the rose field. So several different options. I think maybe the pineapple field would be best. Weren't, were we not just there at the pineapple field? I kind of feel like we maybe were. Let's go find the pineapple field again. Where is that one? Oh, but first, let's collect these little glowy things. These glowy things always produce some really good treats for leveling up. Ooh. What just happened there? Collect more glowy things. Little glowy bee things. And you get those glowy moon things, which are a pretty good upgrade. I think that's a 225. Uh, treat level for your bees, so those are pretty good to find at nighttime when they do that little nighttime bee thing. I think we got them all. Yep, and it's becoming day again. All right, so we were headed towards the pineapple field where ah, there's a spider. Ah, ugh, this spider's the worst, especially when your bees have not caught up yet. Come on, guys, help me out here. Whew, we've got it. Good, 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 good. All right. So pineapple. I think we were just at the pineapple patch. That's funny. So we're going to go back and forth here. Um, this beetle is always on my tail right now. I don't think I have a beetle mission, so I'm just going to kind of pretend I didn't see that beetle. So we're going to run. Yeah, so we were. We were just here earlier. That's funny. Had I just stay, stayed here for a little bit, we would have been able to collect the remaining pollen from this patch. So let's now collect from the pineapple patch and then we can start hunting down which bees, which bears, which bear bees take um, our quests because we have a couple quests to cash in on. Okay, black bear. Oh, you know what? I just saw that. I don't know why I didn't see this, but at the very end of the quests over here, it says 
talk to black bear talk to mother bear so that's the bears i need to go to finish these quests i think i could get a new quest from science bear too have i talked to science bear in, in a while or maybe one of these are one of the science bear quests we'll start up here at science bear see what he's doing right now hey science bear each new experiment i do becomes more complex as a result they require more research from you here's the research i need from you this time collect 8700 million pollen collect 435,000 pollen from the pineapple patch back to the pineapple and 13 mantises oh so he must be um the 13 mantis yeah that's up top so science bear is this pollination practice i'm trying to remember who is who and that's taken me a while so yeah lots of mantises to kill still and uh i think i can kill a lot of double mantises here that'll be a nice catch up Anyhow, so let's go talk to Black Bear and Mother Bear. They're gonna help us out on our next quest. Uh, where are they? That's trying to remember. Let's hop in the cannon here. I haven't shot myself out of a cannon in a while. All right, so uh, there's Black Bear, the original bear. And there goes Ben Ultra. Let's check him out real quick. He's got two bees and uh, Lazy Kitty also has, oh, she's got a couple blue ones. Very cute. All right, so they're they're moving along. I'll talk to Black Bear real quick. What's Black Bear gonna say? Black Bear, nice job. Did you use any accessories to help you out? Maybe, I don't know. Two more quests and I'll give you a royal jelly. Six more quests and I'll give you my diamond egg? Really, I'm getting close to a diamond egg with that. That's interesting. So, what's his next quest here? Um, I've heard that some top beekeepers prefer to collect pollen from the rose field. Why? Well, a couple of reasons. For one, you can specialize your hive with all red bees for maximum combos. On top of that, it's actually pretty close to the hives. For your bees, at least. They don't have to fly very far to go to sleep. Why don't you test it out? Collect 450,000 pollen from the rose field. That's not a bad mission. So where is that showing up? Up at the top for rose request. Now let's also run over to Mother Bear, because it's nice to always do double quests. Have all your quests open at the same time. That way you can combo them if needed. So hey, Mother Bear, what's up? Oh, I knew you could do it. I'm so thrilled. Now I can give you this star egg. A star egg always hatches into a gifted bee you don't already have. Oh, nice. Don't underestimate the power of the gifted bees. They offer much more than just their unique looks. The first gifted bee you obtain of each type grants you a hive bonus. Hmm. This is a special perk that applies to your entire swarm, and in some cases, even to you. For example, as she goes on, I suppose, a gifted basic bee increases all pollen you gain by 20%. That makes it one of the most useful bees in the world. Hmm. It's definitely worth the hassle to obtain gifted bees. I'm so excited! to see which one this star egg hatches into. Well, that's pretty neat. Finally, something from Mother Bear, I suppose. Oh, and let's check out her next mission. You and your bees already share an unbreakable bond, but there's always room for more love. If you're willing to, to go the extra mile and complete these next four lessons, I'll reward you with a star treat. Star treats are the most delicious treat known to be kind. Feed one to a bee and it immediately becomes a gifted bee. This is incredibly, as it hurts my voice to do this, useful because it's less your, it, it lets you choose a gifted bee you really want. Here's the first of four lessons. Raise three bees to level eight, nine bees to level seven, and 15 bees to level six. Feed 30 flowers, pineapples, all this stuff. And oh, this is a huge, that is like a huge list. I gotta take care of Mother Bear. Jeez, Mother Bear, 1,000 treats to your bees? That is a lot of treats. Wow, what a mission. Well, let's first check out, I don't know if I have a spot for an egg. I might have to go buy an open spot for an egg if I can even do that. It's been a while since I figured this out. I don't have a spot. So she gave me an egg, a star hag. Star egg, a star egg hatches into a gifted bee you don't currently have in your hive. Hmm, can I put it over one of the ones I have, I wonder? Oop, as I slip. 
Let's go and find an open spot. I think I can I can make an open spot. I'm gonna make some honey really quick. Uh, cash in the rest of this honey. There they go. It's so fun when you have multiple bees doing this. Just a swarm. Just a swarm. And then I'm going to search out an open bee spot. Okay, I think up way up here, up by the 25th level, I can buy, purchase an extra honey hive spot. I'm not sure how much honey, honey, money, honey, honey, money I need to do that. I've got six million. That's a pretty good tab going. So let's let's run up here and see if we can afford a spot. Okay, through the 25 door. I don't really come up here very much. Which field is this one again? It's hyper thick of flowers. Look at all the blue and the red up here. It is so thick. Uh, somewhere in this shop, I believe it's this shop, we can get another hive holder. Maybe this one right here. Can't afford the rake of gold or the spark staff of honey or beekeeper's boots, beekeeper's mask, the Mondo belt bag. All this stuff is super, super high in honey. Never bought a glider before. Ah, there we go. Okay, so I just need to save up another million and a half to increase my hive. So let's go work on that. I think that's totally doable today. That would be a great thing to do today to be able to open up an extra hive hole, an extra hive hole, that sounds funny, and then also get that new egg placed in and our new bee. Uh, what do we have now? So in our quests, uh, top quest, mother's bear. I'm just going to stay away from that quest because of all the raising bees to level eight. That's I'm way behind that. Uh, Rose request. Hmm, it's a possible one. That's 450,000. Um, that is a lot of pollen there. So I'm kind of kind of holding off on that. Maybe right now uh, I'm collecting just generic pollen over here. Um, definitely want to check out the mantises to see if they've they are ready. Um, I could work over at pineapple patch again. I'm about halfway through there, so this pollination practice a lot of work to go there still. Um, Brown bear has the white rose. Bam, that's a funny one. So I would have to head over to the rose field for a while, which would be a, a good combo, I think. A lot of ladybugs still to kill and mantises. So I'm going to hang here just for a second and then we're going to go look for more mantises and see if we can catch up on those mantises. And we should be able to, once I fill the current pollen bag that I have right now, that should get us pretty close to the seven and a half um, million that we need to open up that um, great new hive hole. Hive hole. That's a funny way of saying it. So hang in there. We're just going to collect some more pollen right now from this field. Okay, I pretty much have covered all the pollen that I can use out of this field. My backpack is getting fairly full. I'm going to head over to either the pineapple patch now and or rose or blue flower. Which one should I go to? Uh, I probably do not want to get into a battle and lose my honey that I've just collected. So maybe I'll first drop down, get some honey, and then we can look for some more blue pollen find a couple mantis. Uh, I imagine the mantis are going to be ready pretty soon here. It's about a 10, 15 mi minute wait. I think it's a little less. It's like a 10 minute wait. Oh, ladybug, ladybug, double ladybug. Come on bees. I do have to kill a lot of ladybugs right now. That sounds so bad. Ladybugs are actually pretty good for the garden. Um, oh, a royal jelly out of that one. I'll take that. All right. So pretty good. A couple more ladybugs. We have 15 more out of 30 to get but that's pretty good. I think there's another ladybug in here actually. This will be our 16th ladybug kill. Good work team. 
And let's jump over here and charge in some of this pollen that I've accumulated before I, you know, get accidentally killed by a mantis. That would not be good. And my bees have returned home. They've returned home to produce all the pollen honey in the world. We'll have a little bit better idea to what I need to harvest to get to that. Is it 7.5 or 7.8? It's somewhere up there. Uh, so I'm almost there. I just have another million. A million to go. Over here at Lazy Kitty's house, she's got four bees now. It looks like she's favoring the blue. She's going to work with blue bees here. Cute little grouping of bee. And Ben Ultra on this side, he's got three. He said that he had placed an egg on top of a hive and replaced a bee or something of that nature. Uh, so he's got three that he's working on right now. And he has just returned home and I see he has both a frost and a fire or a rascal bee or um, I forgot what it was called, but he's got a pretty good assortment too over here. Okay, so I'm now at 6.6 .6 million. So I'm on my way to getting what I need. We're going to do a quick visit at the mantis fields so that I can get these mantises, mantis. I need three more mantises in the mantis massacre uh, to do something interesting. I don't believe I need to worry about beetles, so I'm just gonna charge on through and up here. All right, let's see if a mantis has woke up yet. Oh, it surely has. We've got a mantis ready to go and a beetle, and we've got our favorite glowing bee patch for those moon treats. Always a nice treat, those moon treats. Oh, there we go. So one more mantis has been taken down. And technically this field, this pollen patch of uh, pineapple, we could stay here for a while, but we would still need a lot of mantises. So I'm not gonna, I don't think it's worth hanging out in this field right now because I don't think we would finish this quest in this video. Um, it would probably be a next time thing, but it's kind of fun to gather a little bit while I'm right here. Just a little more. That's the thing about this game. It's always like, just a little more, just a little more, just a little more. And all of a sudden you look at the clock and it's 4 a.m. in the morning and you're like, oops. So don't do that. All right, let's hunt down the other two mantis on the other side of the map here. Jump and jellyfish. Okay, I found the mantises. Two more to take down. Two more mantises. Go, go bees, go. Take these mantis out for me, please. Zap them. The double mantis is a tricky one. You gotta watch for them jumping on you. Once the bees can isolate one and take one out, you're a little better off. I've already been stung a little bit by one of the mantises. Okay, one mantis left. One mantis left. He's half power. Half power. Come on, guys. Get him. Take him down. Yeah. So we have finished... I believe Mantis Massacre, it's right behind my image there. I don't think you could see it behind me. It's like right, right over there. Can, can you see it now? Does that help? Can you see it? It says Mantis Massacre, talk to Panda Bear. So let's go check out Panda Bear and see how Pandy's doing. Um, I don't think I need any blue um, pollen here. I have to go to the blue flower field um, for pollen, but not from the, uh, that was the uh, pine tree field? Is that what it's called? Uh, where is Panda? This isn't Panda, this is Polar Bear. I always forget where Panda is. Uh, there's Panda as I fall into the spider den. Uh, but we've got some time, the spider doesn't come out for nine more minutes. But there's Panda, let's run up to Panda and finish that mission. That's a good mission to finish. Panda always kind of worries me because Panda's like so into like the martial arts. All right, Panda, what do you got? Brzza! Chick, 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 chick. That's the cry of the mantis. <laughs> Pretty good. Take this for now. Come back when you're ready for more. So I got a royal jelly and 10,000. Not much, not much of a gift from Panda. Um, let's put it all together. Let's bonk up the mountain. <laughs> Competing this quest and I'll give you something really special. Defeat 10 ladybugs, 10 rhino beetles, 10 spiders, that'll take forever. 10 scorpions, that'll take a while. 10 mantises and five werewolves. So that's like a five day challenge of work right there. You heard me right, go get them. Okay, so Panda along with Mother Bear has just an insane 
quest for me for maybe next time. But it's good to get those started. That's pretty funny. That's a huge, it's a huge list to work on. So now we're back to harvest. Um, are we in the blue? Is this the blue flower field? I think it might be. Or is this the, um, no, that's the bamboo. The blue flower field is down here. There is a mission to be worked with down here. Oh, another beetle, another beetle. Stay away from me. Whew, those beetles are easy to kill at this point. Um, the blue flower field is also a mission I have down here, but it's kind of a slow mission. Um, I'm not sure if this one would be good to, I need to farm a lot of pollen, so I wanna go to a thicker location. I don't think I'm collecting much pollen here. It's, it's a pretty slow, slow deal. So that's polar bear's mission. And I don't think that's going to happen at this time either. So I'm going to run back to something thicker. We're going to fill up my bag to 7 million. And then we can hope to get that egg from the bear and finish up today with a pretty good, a pretty good amount of uh, accomplishments. I'm, I'm quite proud of, of what we've been able to accomplish. And it's fun to see uh, Lazy Kitty and Ben Ultra also uh, building their hives up. Here's a good hive to work on, I think. This is pretty thick, but I think it's even better up at that top patch. So I'm gonna head that way and grab more pollen from there so I can fill up my bag as fast as I can. So let's head up to the top patch and work over there. <laughs> I can see you way down there. Ben's being chased by beetles. Look at that, Ben Ultra, he's like running away from those beetles. He's like, ah, stay away from me, beetles. Will he be able to defeat two beetles? They're still chasing him. He's, he's apparently hanging in there. He's only got about five bees, I think, on his uh, back there. One bee, one beetle, both beetles are down. Oh, good. Good for Ben Ultra there. That was funny. We got to see a bird's eye view of that attack. Okay, so it's back to just sitting here for about 20 minutes harvesting. Oh my, this takes a while to harvest. I've been harvesting here for about 10 minutes now, almost full. My backpack is ready to burst. I'm gonna run down and see if I can um, pay off some of this pollen into honey. Honey used to purchase things. Why is there like a little thing right there? That is the weirdest thing. There it, is. There it goes. Oh, it was my mouse. My mouse was up there. So I am now completely full. So I gotta run down, not get killed by anything. How about, oh, oh no, the spider's going after Lazy Kitty. Lazy Kitty, look out, the spider's gonna get you. Where, what's this, the moon hundred? I've never landed here before. Anyhow, let's drop down here. And, um, ah, the spider's gonna get me now. All right, we're safe. I feel like I have been like in the mountains for like four months and I've just come down. I've bearded and I'm like, I collected a lot of pollen, man. I need 7.725, 250. Um, let's see what these bees can do. Let's see what I've accomplished here as we charge in. Oh, it's going to be close. I think I'm going to have to harvest just a little more, like another 100,000. Let's see as I continue to make honey here. Oh man, yeah, I'm just right there. The last of the honey has been delivered. So I need seven, seven, five, I think. So about 75,000 more of honey. Let's head over to the mantis field maybe. There might actually be a second double mantis kill here we can work on for one of the other missions, but we're getting so close to getting that next hive open, getting a new bee, that new bee that we are gifted from Black Bear. I want to see what this is. I want to see what I get. So we'll hang here for a minute. Oh, yep, the mantises are back. It's a mantis, ouch! Oh, he just jumped right on me that time. Guys, where are you on that one, huh? 
Come on, bees. They're like, we're tired. We've been working our bees off all day for you. Okay, there's one mantis. And two mantises. And if I head over to the other mantis field, we can get that uh, mantis mission really worked on. So yeah, we'll, we'll hang out at the pineapple patch for a while. I think that's where we want to go. A couple ladybug kills while we're at it, because we need to get ladybugs one of these days. Ladybugs appear pretty often, so it's one of those things I always kind of put on my back list when I really should put on my front. And we do need to kill a lot of spiders now that Panda has that mission, so might as well grab a spider while I'm walking through. Okay, so we got, got the spider mission worked on. And we'll head over here to the pineapple fields again. I think today has been brought to you by pineapple. Uh, I'm pretty sure we need to kill a couple rhino beetles too, so we'll just get those goes worked on. So yeah, brought to you by fresh cut pineapple flowers today as we head back to the pineapple field for the like fifth or sixth time. This is definitely a farming mission day, but we're getting a lot done, a lot more done than I feel like I normally get done. Somebody get that mantis! Somebody get that mantis! All right, so now let's just chill here for a few minutes and get about 75, 70,000, actually maybe just about 50,000 pollen now. And we can charge, change in our pollen and hopefully get that hive going. Okay, this should be enough pollen. I should be good. I can head over, cash this in. It's always hard to leave a field once you've got things really going. You're like, oh, but look at all these bonus multipliers I've got going. I can't leave yet. But I think it's time to head over. This should just give me plenty. Let's go to 75 pollen in my pocket just to be absolutely safe. And we'll head on over. I'm actually really close to that other pollination uh, thing there. But I'm just going to skip out. We'll worry about that next time. Let's run on over. Beetle! Get the beetle! Get the beetle! Ah! Raining a little bit over here in the uh, dandelion field. Alright, so we will drop in some new pollen. Get to work these. I think I had one bee out of all that gathering in the last like 30 minutes. One bee jumped from six to seven, level six to seven. So, I mean, that's kind of good, but kind of sad at the same time. It gets so slow to level up bees at this point. But we do now have enough pollen and honey. So let's run up and get this hive. All right, it feels like I've climbed this mountain about, what is that? It is weird. It is a Mondo Chick. I have never seen that before. Where did that come from? That is bizarre. Mondo Chick level eight, huh? The bees are, what? It, it got really big. It, it's hiding in its egg. That I've never seen before. Weird. It's got a 15 minute timer, I think. And the bees are missing it. I, I've never seen that before. That is funny. Mondo chick, huh? Well, let's not distract from our mission here. So we're gonna open up the shop. Can't afford most of these great items still. I really gotta find the next great multiplier. There it is. Finally, we can buy an extra hive slot. And the next hive slot is twice that expensive. That would take me like 500 years to capture and high harvest if I ever wanted that. So I'm definitely stuck here. Oh, there's Mondo chick again. What? It is so weird. It's like a chicken inside its egg with blue and red wings. That is weird. And then it hides. So it's almost like you've got to attack it, come back. Once it's out of its egg, attack again maybe, and just keep doing that. That is the weirdest thing I've seen in this game yet. So let's run over here. I'm excited. Very excited to see what we get in this egg. What could it be? Ben Ultra running with the scissors over here. There's a ladybug behind you. Uh, that might be the ladybug I spawned, I'm not sure. So one more ladybug dealt with behind him and I'm going to head over and get a new spot. Look, you can even see it. You can see it on my board. 
it's a little bit higher. All right, uh, make honey, sure. Let's let's work on that. Oh, I had very little honey there. And finally, the star egg given by was it Black Bear today? We can place in. Yes, I've been gifted the shy bee. Very cute, red legendary. This talented bee doesn't like to socialize. It just wants to work and be left alone. Very cool. And guess what? I believe it's the first time I have a bee that has a little bit of a little glowing yellowness behind it. So I've, I've come up, I've leveled up somewhere here. I hope this helps uh, increase. Uh, right now it is just a level one, so Let's give it some food and see how, how strong this bee is. Give it a bunch of blueberries. How about um, 50 blueberries? Feed, there we go. Shy bee is all the way up to a level five now and gathers 18 in two seconds. What is that compared to say this guy? This guy's there's 13 and four seconds, so it is stronger, and it's only a five. So let's let's give it about a hundred pineapple. Now it's at six, which is now f gathers 19 in two seconds. So it's a pretty powerful bee. Let's give it a bunch more blueberries. It's eating fast. How about some of these moon charms? These moon charms are the best to feed. They're so powerful. Let's do all 20. And it's still at a six, it's getting there. It's getting leveled up. We need to do a little more. How about, uh, what else do I have that I could really feed it? Got a lot of sunflower seeds, all 125. And how about, uh, let's just, all the strawberries in the world. And it's a level seven. So this dude can collect 20 in two seconds and converts 7,004 seconds pretty quick at 21.91. Uh, so it's definitely, I think, one of my strongest bees. Um, attack three, um, four, not, you know, it's about the same in attack, but three or four, but yes, what a find. Finally, uh, I'm especially excited for that light up honey background there, that little yellow. And now I can head back into the world of flower harvesting for stronger and better things. Pretty good though. I think we did really well today. I caught up on a lot of quests. I have some big quests to do now too. Mother Bear's midterm. We've actually got some things going there. We just need to level some bees up to eight, which will be a while. And the treats, the thousand treats is kind of tricky. You can buy those, but it's still kind of tricky. Lots. Lots to kill in the bug battle on the real final showdown. Rose request, that'll take some time. That's a lot of flowers there. And I'm getting pretty close here in the pineapple pollination practice. I'll get that one next. And brown bear has some interesting things for me to do and a lot of ladybugs to kill currently. But anyhow, what a mission, what a day. I think you can check out here. Ben Ultra has collected quite the swarm here. He's got about four Five bees following him, so he's leveling up nicely. Slushy puppy's hive over here, there she is. She's got one, two, three, four, five, six bees, so she's doing pretty well too. They're both uh, catching up with their hives. Knowing them, I will quit for a day, I'll come back, and they will have like the hive all the way up to the top. But anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching today. What a hive battle of bee. Uh, harvesting today. Thank you so much. Uh, if you haven't given us a squike or a squirrelib or a squamet, please do so. And we'll see you next time, probably catching up with Minecraft again. So thanks for watching and see you guys next time.